Welcome to my channel. Brickhouse here with another video. Figured I'd start the day off with a little sports news. And this has some special interest to me because I'm a Chicago Bears fan. So Aaron Rodgers went on the Pat McAfee show yesterday. He does a weekly um, segment on the Pat McAfee show. And uh, we'll just jump into it here from Sports Illustrated. Oh, by the way, um, if you like the, con the content that I'm putting out, whether it's political, news, sports, culture, whatever it may be, uh, please subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notifications when I upload content on a daily basis. And uh, please like the videos because that does help out with the uh, YouTube algorithm. Promotes my videos and gets me uh, a little more exposure because I am trying to build this channel here. Uh, hopefully someday to be doing this um, as my full-time gig. Possibly, maybe. As I get better at it. So, Aaron Rodgers' Pat McAfee appearance was a parting gift to the Packers. Thank God. Out of the NFC North. We can only hope. We can only hope. Uh, the Jets are now painted into a corner with few other viable quarterback options unless Green Bay agrees to a trade. Uh, Aaron Rodgers gave Green Bay a lot over his 18 seasons. Yeah, beating the Bears a lot, too, is part of that. Um, wearing green and gold. And even on his way out, as he dumped dirty details of what's leading to his impending departure to Pat McAfee on Wednesday, he sent the Packers one last parting gift. Leverage. Actually, Leverage is a pretty good TV show. I, I would recommend it. Leverage and Leverage Redemption. Both excellent shows. Um, combine Rogers' announcement with the logistics of the contract he signed last March. And you've got the Jets painted into a corner. And the Packers brass in a spot to lean back in their office chairs, smirk, and play the waiting game with their friends in Jersey. Here's the thing. Now, the Jets can't not do a deal for Rodgers. That is a fact. The Jets are desperate for a quarterback. They're, they're, they've got some good talent on the defense from what I've seen. Just a little bit I've seen of the Jets last year. Um, and they are still rebuilding, but if they can work a deal for Aaron Rodgers, that will boost their stock greatly. That'll allow them to challenge Buffalo for the AFC East. Um, he Now the Jets can't not do a deal for Rodgers, he told them, and the world, and he wants to come to New York. They've already signed Alan Lazard to a four-year, $44 million deal, and that addition might just be the tip of the iceberg. The two other veteran quarterback options that the Jets coaching staff had connections to, Derek Carr, who went to New Orleans, and Jimmy Garoppolo, who just signed a deal with the Raiders, have long since come off the free agent market. So if you're the Jets, you don't get Rodgers, then what? Try to trade for Downing's old friend Ryan Tannehill? Uh, I wouldn't be happy about that if I was a Jets fan. Um, convince yourself that turning back to Zach Wilson is still an option after everything that's happened in the last few weeks. I'd say Jet Zach Wilson has not been a good draft pick for the Jets. The Jets have to get Rodgers, and they have to go through the Packers to get him. Green Bay, meanwhile, has no, no such urgency. Rodgers' $58.3 million option bonus for this year is fully guaranteed. But the Packers have until September 1st to ex exercise it. Flexibility that was very smart to build into the contract. Also because of the contract tangled up in cap machinations, has his hit will actually rise from 31.6 to 40.3 million when he's traded, meaning keeping him doesn't prevent any other business from being done. They also have their 2023 quarterback Jordan Love on the roster, so while it wouldn't be ideal to have Rodgers hanging over Love's offseason, it's not like they'd be introducing someone new to that equation. So yeah, um tell me what you think. Bears fans out there, tell me what you think of the prospects of Aaron Rodgers finally leaving the NFC North and uh, being that proverbial thorn in Chicago's side. Me? I think it's great. And I'm just going to play a little snippet here from um, the uh, Pat McAfee show from yesterday. 
So I've shifted my focus to entertaining, you know, what the plane would look like hmm. and had the, you know, uh, the Packers granted obviously permission for the Jets to come out and visit. We had a nice visit. Um, they decided to leave their cars in the street, which attracted paparazzi attention, which uh, got, you know, a few of them photographed, which I thought was pretty funny. But um, and a couple uh, of mistakes early. But we had a we had a nice we had a nice conversation, and I told them, listen, I'm not ready to make a decision about anything. I want to get back into my workouts and see how it feels. Uh, you know, to really hit it hard for for a week. I've obviously been working out before that, but to really hit it hard for a week and, and to see if the drive and the, and the passion is still there, and and then I'll you know see where we're at. And and so again, this is why this is not a decision here. The decision I think was made in my mind whether or not I was able to admit at that point. Uh, really on that Tuesday, I wanted to play. Um, and then it was, uh, you know, how is my body uh, feeling? Is it going to be able to hold up? So at this point, as I sit here, you know, I think since Friday, uh, I made it clear that my intention was to play and my intention was to play for the New York Jets. Okay. Um, so there you have it, straight out of the horse's mouth. Um. I, for one, am excited that if he does go to the Jets, gets out of the NFC North, that leaves it wide open, not only for the Bears, but the Vikings and the Lions. And with the Bears doing what they're doing in free agency, with the cap space they have left to spend, which I think is somewhere between 45 and $50 million, and with the multiple picks they have in the upcoming draft, I think the Bears could be in a prime spot to... uh Take back the North. So, again, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Um, Aaron Rodgers going to the Jets. Is it going to happen? If it does happen, when is it going to happen? I'd like to hear your thoughts, your comments, your opinions. So, again, like like the video. Um, hit the subscribe button. Share. Hit the notification bell for when I post uh, daily videos Monday through Friday. And uh, we will see you folks on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.